I'm Christine. In this short video, I'll show you what a network map looks like and explain some of its important features. A network map is made up of circles or nodes that typically represent people. You will notice the circles have different colours. The colours are used to represent a particular attribute of a person. On this map, the colours represent the city in which the person is located. You can see the colour labels up here. Circles can also vary in size and I will cover that shortly. In addition to circles, there are also lines that connect them. A line between two people represents a type of relationship. A line between two people could mean that they are relatives, friends or that they work together. The lines have arrowheads and this represents the direction of the relationship. You can see here that this person has nominated this other person. If there are arrowheads at both ends, it means that both people have nominated each other. The size of the circle is related to the number of incoming lines. Here we have a person who has been nominated many times and the size of the circle is therefore bigger, while this person has been nominated less times and their circle is smaller. A unique algorithm determines the layout of the map and places circles closer together if they have similar connections. Circles that have fewer connections tend to be placed further apart. This algorithm runs for a little while and that is what is causing the movement. That's it for now. You can learn more by watching the other short videos where I will introduce the specific maps in more detail and how you can use them to help you establish a stronger network. Thanks for watching.